This could become the most expensive Thanksgiving dinner ever. The cost of many of those common staples are soaring. So we went to the source to find out what's driving the cost. And it's not always what you might expect. WCI3 Sarah Lehman live in our newsroom tonight. Sarah, you went to a turkey farm today. How are they faring right now? Well, the, Kaveny, the family at Cavani Farm has been doing this for about 20 years, and every year they say is different, and they never really know what to expect with their turkeys. They never have to rely on any out-of-country shipping. They get their turkeys at a young age from a farm in New Mexico, and they say they only buy locally, but they did have to raise the price of their meat this year because the price of corn and soybeans has gone up across the country. And even though we buy everything locally, um, you know, we buy corn locally and, and feed locally and, and use local vendors for, you know, equipment and that sort of stuff. Um, you know, we're not, we're not dependent on, you know, shipping necessarily off, from offshore sources, but we are, you know, we're subject like everybody else that raises the product, uh, even though it's domestic, you know, it is going to change based on commodity prices and, and um, demand and that sort of thing. Kaveny says that is half of the expense of raising these turkeys because, of course, they have to feed them. But the turkeys also eat the grass there that they live on. And Kaveny Farm still has a few birds left. If you haven't gotten your Thanksgiving turkey and you want something a little more local, you can find more on our website, WCIA.com. Live in the newsroom, I'm Sarah Lehman, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Sarah, thanks for that.